Hello designers, this is Mr. Granlund. I'm going to take you through your final project, the Banksy picture. So to start off with, I'm going to talk about who Banksy is, then talk about the writing, and then finally show you a resource for the picture. Banksy is a street artist from the United Kingdom whose work really involves uh, challenging perceptions about the world. So here in this picture, um, this is painted on the side of a building, and this picture shows a rioter who's about to go off to his riots with his anarchy flag, and here's his mom fixing his bandana and has packed the lunch for him. And the idea is, is that rioters come from families too. We often see them as these violent kind of countercultural people with spiky hair who look like they're up to no good and, you know, going to do things. You know, this guy is about to go throw down with the police and tear gas and dogs and all kinds of stuff and create havoc. But yet here he is with his mom who's fixing his bandana. So he, he looks just right just for his riot. And there's kind of an element of humor in that, that, that Banksy does. Here's some other pictures. Obviously, this is Steve Jobs. But the location of where this was painted is on this, uh, this homeless town, this tent town that's popped up. What's interesting is just beyond this fence is Apple, Apple headquarters. And so you have Steve Jobs, you have Apple, one of the largest companies in the world, billions and billions of dollars, right next to a homeless camp. And by putting those things right next to each other, it says something um, about, about wealth and inequality. Some of the other themes that Banksy explores is this idea of the government, you know, looking and listening to all of your telephone conversations, which is true. Um, they are recording every single tele uh, telephone communication in the world. So similar to Banksy, what you're going to do is you're going to look at... Um, Maybe different things in the world that you feel passionate about, um, that you're kind of wondering, why are things like that? And say something about those situations. So here are some examples of student projects. Here we have, you know, relationship problems and giant divides um, between them. Thoughts about how we're kind of too connected to our our technology and we put it next to a charging station so as you think about like how helpless you feel if you don't have your phone you're a little trapped or maybe even addicted to it and putting that next to a charging station wall you know sometimes some of us have uh, strong opinions about um, crime and the way the police interact with crime you know here we have a crime happening and here we have a police officer just kind of casually looking the other way. Here we have, you know, two things next to each other, which we artists call juxtaposition. And so we have not available in, on the App Store, and we have children playing outside on swings. So whatever your perspective is about um, industry or politics or, or cultural, culture in general, Think about um, how we can create pictures that make a comment about it. So the goal of this artwork is to create a piece that promotes change or is making a statement about culture or society. The second step is going to be filling out the worksheet to help organize your thoughts. This is going to be a step that you do while you're creating your picture. You're going to find images from popular culture or iconic images from history to use in your artwork. 
The images you choose for this project should be easily recognizable because they've been in the mass media, social media, iconic photography or logos. And then fourth, you're going to find a background image of a brick wall or a concrete wall or some, some sort of public space and manipulate the images in the Banksy street art style. And I'll show you the video that has the step-by-step -step procedures for creating that. So inside of the assignment Banksy picture, here we have the video that will take you through step-by-step -step how to take a regular picture and turn it into a stencil-like art. Make sure you watch this video um, to help you with the picture. And the writing assignment is under Banksy Writing. And this is where you're going to organize your thoughts for your final picture. Now make sure um, that you follow these minimum requirements. So when I'm asking you to explain why you're choosing a theme or what your theme is, make sure you're using at least three sentences. This is a good portion of your final grade. So the more you add, the more thoughtful you become in this writing, the higher your score is going to be um, for your final project. Um, how you alter the images, that's going to be things that you do inside of Photoshop. Um, be as specific as possible when you're creating the picture. Talk about how many images you use and what you had to do to them to get them to work. And then what are you intending to tell people through your image? Again, at least three sentences, but longer is better. All right, good luck, designers.